Hey folks, got a lot of requests about a guide to Vermintide, so I got a leading member of the community to help us out with that. Lunathex, let's go to you and have a chat about Barden Gorixon's melee weapons now. I, I know this is going to be like the one for you, because you, you play Barden specifically for the reason he is the dwarf. I'm a big fan of the dwarf, yeah. Big fan of the dwarf. Now, the, and the axes did get buffed. It's the same weapon as Salt's Pirate's Axe, but this this uh, Barden's variant does not have the backstab access. Which is fine, I mean, it, it's still working pretty well if you ask me. Both of the one of, of the one-handed thing, uh, things were opened up to give Barden some viable access to like highly mobile striking ability now. He can actually be built as a striker, which wasn't true before this last patch. And if you're using the Drake Fires, which we'll go over, you know, you can suddenly cover every single thing. <laughs> and you know, what's so good about this is, you know, you've got a strong push. This weapon benefits from a multiple amount of, of traits here. My favorite in particular is Perfect Balance Berserking and Dev Blow. Mm -hmm. Because that's four shields, level three push, and you and you kill everything in like one hit outside of Cataclysm. So Berserking, 12% chance to do more like more attack speed. Yeah, that's kind of a big deal. I, I've al I've always been I've been a big fan of um, of bloodlust instead because I think the most important thing your uh, your weapon can do for you is heal you. But uh, which I, is on this weapon, yes. Yep. Hi yeah, that you can also get that uh, that in there. But uh, yeah, no, it's it's absolutely hysterical to watch a berserking dwarf go to town with that axe. Uh, Bard is the most vocal of the group, I, I, I believe. <laughs> having played long enough, he's the one who's just having the most fun being in there. He definitely laughs the most. When he heals himself, or like when regrowth or bloodlust trigger, you can sometimes hear him making mouth trumpets. It's That is a critical portion in the build of one, uh, one of his uh, ranged weapons, which we'll get to later. Whoa, now what was I going to go on about here? Ah, no matter. We're moving on to the hammer here. Which did get a buff as well. Can one hit kill clan rats on Cataclysm with the power attack now? Yeah, even then, I still kind of feel I feel like the one hand ham a hammer is a little bit of a weapon looking for a job. It uh, it's very it's very quick and allow allows you to play uh, to play the controller in a more mobile way. But Barden already has some of the best controller weapons in the game, so I'm not sure what uh, what purpose it's serving. Well, it, it still hits it, it still hits every target in front of you. Doing damage to only two of them, which is why killing blow is so amazing, because even if you do zero damage with that, you have a chance of killing them instantly mm -hmm. and deleting that from the field, which is a big deal like the storm vermin here, if I was lucky. <laughs> that is a true story. The uh, All of Barton's weapons really make him a bit of a juggernaut on the field, and I think, and now I know I remember what I was going to say, is I think he's the easiest character to get started with. He, yeah, I, do, I definitely do, I do feel like he's the most accessible if for no other reason than um, he has. He also has the most weapons. He has seven uh, melee weapons, which I'm pretty sure the, uh, the, next, the next most uh, equipped person has five. No, that's Kruber. Kruber has the same weapons as him, just minus that War Pig DLC. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I think Kruber really needs to be uh, get a pick-me-up in the next DLC. He's probably going to get the weapon next. Hopefully, I like her. He also needs a new ranged weapon, considering the nerf on handguns. Which, I mean, the you know his other two options are pretty good. Wish Barton also has one of them. Oh no, now here's my weapon. The axe and shield, yeah. It, superior to the hammer shield in every way, minus one little thing, which we'll go over. But, I mean, you can just control everything with this. And you've got the axe, which is just great against storm vermin, as we just saw. Yeah, the, be the beautiful thing about the Axe and Shield is that um, you have infinite targets on the, sh on the Shield Bash. It only does damage to one, but that allows you to crowd control as much as you want. And you only have one, uh, one target with your primary, but the primary is high damage. So if you need to kill a couple of individual dudes, you use the primary. And look, I, can, I don't even need to push them to stun lock them. No. No, uh, you you can you can shove around storm vermin uh, like uh, like schoolyard bully. It's great. Improved improved pommel, uh, devastating blow, and berserking is by far the killiest set of traits you can get on this one. <laughs> because I mean, the the push then becomes level four, which is then becomes a an amazing panic button. Improved pommel is a chance a forty percent chance to not consume stamina on a push. Mm -hmm. So you know you can just be pushing and cleaving all at the same time. And shield bashing, like, yeah, I mean, just, I mean, 
Th this is what makes him so accessible. This this has such an edge on the sword and shield that Kruger has. The yeah, the level four push is a lot bigger deal than most people give it credit for because because it it clears out the entire area around you and puts a very long stun on any slave and clan rats. And it all they go flying all... through the air and sitting mm -hmm. on their ass for about two seconds. That's a lot of time. They have they have to catch their breath before they can even get up again. It's pretty incredible. Yeah, this weapon is without a doubt amazing on Cataclysm, and we're going to see something special that shields can do with the hammer and shield. This one's a lot slower. You get the hammer, which is also infinite targets like the shield bash. What makes this one more viable for Cataclysm is the fact the red one has killing blow, which the others do not have particularly good access. Yep. I, I'm pr I, I'm not even clear if the uh, orange ones have, uh, have killing blow access, honestly. They might. I might be wrong about uh, about that, but yeah, the the primary problem that people find with the hammer and shield is that the shield bash is a lot slower than uh, than it is on the axe and shield, which I feel is a completely legitimate thing uh, with how useful the shield bash is. Yeah, I just refreshed myself. It only has access to heroic killing blow, which is just a three percent chance mm. on the shield bash to just kill anything instantly, including the ogre. It's not worth it at all. Yeah, no, Heroic Killing Blow is one, is one of those traits that, uh, that people take a look at it and they're just like, oh, that looks fantastic. But the reality of the situation is there's only one time during a level where it's even remotely helpful. And this is also why shields are great. You can block the Rattling yes. with it. Yeah, it's like, screw Rattlings, I'm just going to turtle up. The It's just so slow, though, and even with Killing Blow, holding, holding the line with bots on Cataclysm, not exactly the easiest thing to do here. But the, the red mace, the red hammer and shield, really good because it has perfect balance, improved guard, and killing blow. Mm -hmm. Now the now the great axe or two handed axe is Barden's equivalent to the two handed sword. It's still a bit of a weird weapon though. Yeah, this is bit this is how Barden was has traditionally been built as a striker, but it is it is substantially different from uh, from the way the faster characters like Carillion and Saltspire uh, handle be, uh, being a striker. So. It's always it's always ended up feeling a little bit strange. I like it a lot more since the patch, though. They buffed its damage a, a little bit, so you so you can you can swing back and forth and feel uh, feel like a lumberjack, and you're okay. See, now every weapon does have an, a start and end to a damage window. So if you turn your camera, you will hit more targets in mm -hmm. like as you follow the weapon's movement. Just something that we should talk about later, but is part of the reason why this game has such an amazing melee system. Yep, the it, it's most other games call it mouse dragging if you're a uh, veteran of chivalry, or uh, most other games that uh, that do that sort of thing. Oh, this is the best part. Yeah, it has backstab access. <laughs> Backstabbery is is largely a uh, is largely a an anti rat ogre thing because it it's very damage. niche. But on Barden's axe, you know, you if you sweep your axe at four rats from behind, that's that's instant kill across the board right there. Mm-hmm. It, it Bard, uh, Barden's axe uh, makes particularly good use of it simply because it is so high damage. But it has such a weird stamina because it has five stamina, two point five shields. Yeah, it's that, that's really what odd. is so weird to me. Now the two-handed hammer is as dwarven as you get, I'd yeah. imagine. Yeah, no, th this was this was my first love in the game was the oh, was this weapon, which is is sad because it's really it's really not one of Barden's better ones. Yeah, it can't even kill the clan rat on one hit on the light attack on Cataclysm. Which is so weird because it's this big o uh, overhand smash. Yes, it's hitting them in the head as well. But, I mean, you can still play whack a storm vermin with it. <laughs> it it's 100% it's a crowd control weapon, and in this one clip, it exemplifies, like, its primary use to be at all. Mm -hmm. This This isn't... You're not going to be really contributing much overall with the weapon, but you can hold back the horde, but then you could just bring the axe and shield, do the same thing, and be doing a lot more damage. Right. You're. Th this is yet another way for Barden to be a controller, which he already has lots of access to. But there's, there's style points, and style points count for a lot in this game. And th this game really does it well when you can really feel the, uh, the effect of swinging this giant hunk of metal and getting a good reaction out of it, which is what the hammer <laughs> does very, stretchy. very well. Cataclysm See, is, de is definitely where, uh, where this, we uh, this weapon uh, this weapon suffers a lot, though. Everything just has too much health for how much damage that they, uh, they left. It only hits two targets for damage as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
But now we have the DLC weapon, which in my notes I have specifically said the the red version of this weapon, which you are seeing right now, is is so extremely powerful that it's basically sitting at the front of the Olympian Council of the Vermintide Arsenal. Good god. You just plant storm vermin. It's it's the only one of the only weapons now that if you hold the charge long enough, you get a stronger attack, which will kill every non-ogre enemy instantly. That's I, I wasn't aware that uh, that that this is the only weapon where holding charge attack actually gets you a stronger thing. Well, Sienna's staves now require that to some extent. Oh yeah. But this is the only weapon melee weapon that will require you to do Good that. Good lord. Killing blow, bloodlust, and, and the red slang. Yeah, that's basically. Yeah, perfect. you can't get that on any other weapon. This it's such a dream setup, and it pairs so well with the Drake fires because when the Drake fires get kills with the damage over time, that also procs bloodlust. Good. Lord. And berserking, if you had that as well. That is getting nerfed so hard. Good night. That was so worth it. Oh man, I gotta figure out how to get. That. Yeah. Oh, for oh, for real, the pick is definitely getting nerfed. This Holy is way too it. powerful. I mean, I did not give the falchion too good of a showing. I mean, it's a striking weapon that one, but it and I made that like before the DLC was even released. <laughs> But the, the pick, yeah, I feel like this is as good a showing as it can possibly get. It is so powerful. Man, 